Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today I'm joined by Jonathan Weiner, Mastering Engineer, Educator, and you're here on behalf of Isotope. That's right. Great to see you. Yeah, same here. We're coming to you today from Studio C at Sweetwater, and we're going to be talking about how you approach mastering a track using ozone. Jonathan's done more than 6,000 CDs, and so he has a lot of experience with making tracks sound wonderful, and he's going to show you how to get started making your own tracks sound great. We'll begin this series with a discussion of how to set up ozone for basic operation. All right, so the first thing you do when you open the, um, the ozone application is uh, you want to set up your um, template, if you will, for your basic mastering setup. So ozone has lots and lots of modules and lots and lots of sort of uh, whiz-bang capability, um, but there are a few basic tools I find myself uh, using almost all the time. And they are a, an equalizer, um, a compressor, which I may or may not decide to use, a second equalizer, which would sit behind the compressor, and the maximizer, which is uh, a limiter. Uh, so um, if you were to uh, open up Ozone for the first time, you might see a bunch of other modules. Uh, for instance, I'll just pull in the exciter, for instance, sitting in your queue. Um, for me, I'll just get rid of that, and I've got my four modules in the order that I want to use them. And then I'll go ahead and define this as my default preset. So if I click down here on the, uh, the text that says click on arrow to load a preset, click on default, or right click there and say set current state as default. Now every time I open Ozone, that's going to be my starting point. So if you have a favorite, you know, sequence, if you will, uh, mastering chain, if you will, you can use that as your starting point. So you'll find yourself uh, wanting to add and remove modules all the time. So let me just give you a, a quick demo on how to do that. So I'm going to pull up a preset that has a bunch of modules instantiated. OK, there you go. And you see there's dynamics, dynamic EQ, and a vintage limiter. Let's say I want to add the maximizer to the end of the chain. So I open up the click to insert module uh, window touch the limiter, and now it shows up at the end of the chain, which is typically where I'd want it. And I want to replace uh, or use that instead of the vintage limiter. So I'm going to move over and click on the X here and get rid of the vintage limiter. So now I've got my desired EQ chain. Or if I want to go back to my default setting, I can just open the preset manager, click on default, and now I'm back to my starting point. All right. So now I'm going to open up a file from my hard drive, uh, any file in particular. And let's see, how about this one here? Uh, so Ozone will just bring it up to one of my tabs here. I've got six files here. So these could be six singles that I'm working on or six tracks in a record that ultimately will be edited together. Um, one thing to be aware of is that once you open Ozone to a particular sample rate, when you drag a track in, it will convert to the sample rate with which it's working. Uh, so make sure that you've got a consistent sample rate across your whole project and, um, and that you're aware of what that sample rate is. All right. So the, the, um, the other thing that I'm going to do in my setup phase is I'm going to click this ear icon that you see here on the right. What that allows us to do is to listen to the, the audio before and after processing in a way that is level matched. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of that right here just to kind of demonstrate what that does. I'm going to turn on my maximizer. And as I drop the threshold here, you'll, you'll hear that there's uh, additional gain. There's makeup gain that's applied automatically. So for every dB that I drop the threshold, you'll get one more dB present at the output. So in other words, it's going to get louder. Um, then when I bypass and re-engage the plugin, you'll notice that there's no level difference in what you hear. Okay? So you'll be able to hear the effect of the limiter without the associated level difference. And this is very, very important when you're mastering that you do a level matched A-B comparison. So very quickly, let me give you that demo right here. So that's bypassed. And not. If you wanted to hear the actual difference in the before and after, you could turn the ear off. And now listen to what happens. Start bypassed. And 
and there you hear the level jump. So this is very helpful, and this is that level difference will be accommodated for with any associated modules that you bring into the plugin. So whether you're compressing, limiting, um, whatever it, it is, it will uh, match the level before and after. So now that I've got uh, the basic setup of Ozone ready to go, now I can start thinking about what I'm going to do when I'm mastering. Thanks for joining us for this first installment of our series on how to start mastering in Ozone. If you have questions on Ozone or any other Isotope products, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call or visit Sweetwater.com. Thanks to Jonathan Weiner for joining us and watch for installment number two.